Hi, welcome to TWR Facebook Live. Um, I am doing this Facebook Live from Dharamsala, India, uh, from Norbu House. And uh, earlier I did try with the, the connection, internet connection and the sound. It seems went well and I hope this continuously go well. So let me know how the image is coming and how the sound is coming. And uh, so far it looks good. So I am, you know, very happy to be here this evening uh, with all of you. Um, so tonight uh, I wanted to speak a little bit uh, more on the base, you know, we, when I, when I was thinking about doing the pit instruction, uh, personal reflection on the Dzogchen teachings, I thought about discussing a little bit on what in Tibetan we call Je, Lam and Devu, which means um, uh, the base, the path and uh, fruition. Uh, so Jilam Desum, so so particularly uh, this notion of base in the Dzogchen tradition. So I thought I would speak a little bit, and then I thought about speaking uh, from from the text called Shangju Nyeju. Uh, many of you know that uh, in the Bion tradition, uh, Shangju Nyeju Dzogchen tradition is one of the most important. Uh, scripture on Dzogchen uh, and so among that this this volume there is a ch chapter uh, root text and commentary called Zirbu Nishitachi 21 nails and uh, so I wanted to speak a little bit from that so first um, I want to just kind of read a little bit line by line so that uh, those people who understand Tibetan are then uh, lately, some few more Tibetans have been coming and listening, so it may be helpful for them. So it says, Tong sal nam ka ye, jungwa nang si tsal, ye so deng wa tuluk, chuntu tawa kolsa, rang sal re pa tap, chuntu towa lam, ye so me pa tokpa, wuntu chuwa jiwu. So these are the lines. So basically, uh, there are six different parts in this base. And each of these basically talking about what is the base. So first one is talking about Tongsal Namkajje. It's talking about the, the sky or the space being the base of everything. So basically, uh, space is the base of everything. Um, so uh, as we say, uh, every matter is 99.99% space, so everything, most of it is space. So, uh, so that means every matter, basis of every matter is space. So in, in the Tibetan tradition we say all the outer uh, elements and the inner beings, Chinyu and Nangchu, uh, are all are based on the sky. So basically all the elements, outer element, all the beings are based on the sky. So we just basically, every nature is arising and taking place and dissolving in the sky, in the space. So somehow nat nature always evolves. So nature is never a problem to each other. Uh, the, so uh, sometimes we become problem to the nature and sometimes therefore the nature becomes problem to us. So recently, so we are having a lot of uh, nature disasters are very much, uh, uh, I think in some sense of sign of our bad relationship, our lack of awareness, uh, our respect toward the nature and how much uh, um, destructions, pollutions that we bring uh, in the nature, toward the nature. I think this is a response or reaction from from the nature and or maybe 
from the spirit of the nature. So, so, so basically, the point here I'm trying to say is the space is the basis of all the elements externally. So that's one number one, and the second one is talking about um, is talking about basically um, body or basically activity. So it says, "Charme ishe je chawa na tsotsa je so tengwa chulu chundo tawa kosa ngansar ule pa tap long do chowa lam ni so me pa topa ngundo chowa devo ngundo chowa devo so charme ishe je." So every activity. So basically, think about ourselves. Think about our body. Think about our speech. Think about think about our mind. So everything what we do. Um, so all our activity, our body and our activity of the body, it's based on that uh, stillness. So chawa uh, actionless stillness. That is that is being the base. So um, I will explain. What, I mean, I, I know like it sounds a little bit like a very um, okay. So what does that mean to us uh, in terms of the personal level? What it means to us in terms of developmentally speaking, practice wise, what it means to us spiritually, what it means to us. I will I will explain a little bit later, but just kind of let me go through this first. So. Um, so stillness or actionless wisdom is the base. So all the activity that we do, it arises in that base. And uh, when we follow this activity, um, it's a delusion. When we look them as a mistaken or something wrong with that, that is a mistaken. When you leave them as they are, where they are, it says a method, um, and then when when it self liberates in that base of stillness, then it's called path. The path that means we we learn through our meditation, uh, through our understanding and meditation, we learn to leave it as it is, so that it will have its own time to dissolve and liberate. We will not interfere it to last longer than is necessary, or we will not try to interfere it to try to stop earlier than it's, it's needed. So when we leave it in its own moment, it will liberate. So when it does liberate, so when appearance is liberated in the base, when the appearance is and the base becomes a union or inseparable, when we recognize that, so that is the knowledge. That is the knowledge. When that knowledge uh, fully ripens in us, it says uh, chulva." Means when it, when that realization fully ripens in us, is the fruition or is the result. So then the next part is the. So this is the part of the body and the activity. So we, we, in my teaching, I always talk about the stillness. Stillness. I mean, you all know. I refer to that a lot. So with that basically that whole idea of stillness is coming from this jume ishiji. No activities. The stillness is the base. That that's where it's coming from, the source. Second part it has something to do with our speech. So what is the basis of our speech? So it says Jume Ishiji Juba Natsotsal Jesu Tenwa Truk Jundu Tawa Kosa Nang Sarlupetap Long the Tova Lam. So sorry to read this in Tibetan and again, you know, those who are trying to study understand Tibetan might be helpful, but other than otherwise it's a little bit um hopefully it sounds good, sounds sounds nice in the air. <laughs> um so what is the second part? Second part it has something to do with the speech. So uh, si I always talk about in the teaching, I say something like mm, the awareness of silence is a wisdom, a wisdom of silence. I don't know. Do you all remember that? So how many th th those of you who have been following me, my teachings in the books and uh, all the Facebook live teaching, all three, three door, three precious pills, when I talk about um, 
wisdom of silence. Do you remember wisdom of silence? So I talk about being aware of silence. Not just being quiet. You know, for example, silence. You can think about silence. Very often when you, you hear a word silence in a session of the meeting or therapy session, massage or the monastery, when it says silence, basically it says keep quiet. Don't make a noise. Right? That's what it means. Uh, so just being quiet, not making a noise is not good enough. So, of course, it's good, but not good enough. So, wisdom of silence is when, when you are aware of the inner silence. So that inner silence, the awareness of inner silence, is the base of the speech. Like the stillness is the base of the body and the activity, the silence or the awareness of the silence is the base of the speech or speech. So, uh, speech or the sounds is the basis of that sound. So, so whenever the sounds, whenever sound arises, like the primordial sound, like a mantras, like a sounds of like a ah, om, um, like mantras, or when you hear hear uh, a word saying love uh, or peace, compassion, these are uh, more expresses uh, spiritual qualities or when you say uh, anger, attachment, um, ignorance, these are uh, the expressions of the non-virtues, non-virtues, uh, a state of consciousness. So basically these all are sound which expresses some meanings or expresses some vibrations as a primordial sound healings. So, but, but point what I'm trying to say, whatever the sound arising, all the basis of those sound is goes back to the silence. So the silence is the base, the all the speeches are manifestation. So it's, but following them or manipulating them is the error. Seeing them something wrong, is a mistake in leaving them as they are is the method. When they dissolve, when the noise cease, or when the noise dissolve into the base inner silence, when you when you when you when you awaken or when you realize and aware of that that inseparable state of that dissolution of the sound and that which is the awareness of the silence and that space, it's kind of fruition. So this is what it's talking about. So I hope I'm, I'm talking clear, I'm saying something useful. Um, so okay, so that is at least let's try to go down through it and trying to finish it. So that is the speech. So we talked about sky and the natural sky, space and the elements. We talk about internally body, speech and mind. We talk about the body in the stillness. We talk about the speech, speech in the silence. So the third part is, uh, sorry, the fourth part is that has something to do with our mind. So uh, the root in the text is says, "Rangjung ishe je nyomong tunga tsal je so dengba tuluk chun do tawa kosa rangsal leba tap pong do tawa lam iso neba tokpa ngon do chowa jewo." So self-arising wisdom is the base. Five negative emotions, poisons, are dynamic energy. So basically it means for our anger, for example, most of the time we think about anger, not good. Or in some in Sutric tradition, uh, one, one would say you need, you need to, to renounce anger. Anger is bad. Or you need you think about in a tantric, you need to transform, change it. It's not good. But in a Dzogchen, it's not saying you need to renounce or transform it. It's saying leave it as it is. Nothing wrong about the anger, anger unless you look at anger as wrong and trying to manipulate with another conceptual mind which you think is a better, which is not. 
but being fully aware and living it, living it as it is in its own place is the method. That's what it's saying. So, 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 so not looking at something wrong, living it as it is, is the method. So then it dissolves when, ang when you leave the anger, when you leave the depression, when you leave the sadness, when you leave whatever negative emotion this very moment those you are experiencing in your life, if you leave them as they are, where they are, by just simply being aware, but not manipulating, not suppressing, it's the method. And what happens if you do that, it will dissolve by itself. When it does dissolve by itself, the cessation of it in the base where it dissolves is not a separate. So, uh, non-separable state of that, re I say, realization of non-separable state of that is called um, knowledge, uh, awakening. Niso mepa topa, inseparable state. It's, it's a realization, knowledge. That's what it's referring to. And then the... Um, okay, so I think... Um, I think it's fine. So maybe um, the, what I'm trying to say here, you know, if you look at this, talking about s space in which all the elements dissolve, if you leave them as they are, not manipulating... I think, uh, which says very clearly, in some sense, um, as a human, as as we, environmentally speaking, I think we we need to understand, uh, trying to leave the nature as much as they are in their own patterns, in places where they are growing, uh, the speed they are growing, the size they are growing, the timing they are growing and seeing something positive about those natural organic growth of those uh, foods and fruits and flowers and everything. Um, so genetic food. So we're trying to manipulating all the time uh, food. It's, this is saying completely, I think in according to this teaching, it's basically saying that's not good. That's not right. So same way, uh, externally and same way internally, three areas, our own body and activities, our own speech and languages, and our own mind and our thinking, our thoughts. So the same principle applies. So one of the common things I think in this, all these, these teachings talking here as a base is saying, uh, maybe let's say, uh, well, let's say trying to summarize this, what, what I'm trying to speak this evening in a very few things. Uh, it's is that so if you look at in our life each one of you if you look at in your li life So now I'm trying to I'm not actually guiding meditation, but it's kind of guiding meditation. So I, I want all of you uh, go deeper in reflecting in yourself in your life particularly in your body particularly your activity, things you do, do, doing, trying to do, trying to become, trying to make things happen, particularly when it's getting involved with the ego, pain, fear, and particularly when it's involved ignorance, fear, ego, struggle, and those things that you're trying to do, it's not really happening that well. Maybe if you think it's happening well, that okay, but that's something, you know, it's something that you're experiencing that in the long run, it's not happening good. So, so somehow, but most of the most of the time, we already witness that the the product, uh, the doing, trying to do, trying to make, trying to become. Uh, all those action, pain actions, pain actions, it's, uh, it does not give us a joy, a satisfaction. So, so if your pain actions, for example, uh, one good example will be, I know some cases that some people are doing their work, 
they're so so unhappy about what they do in their job and uh, and sometimes I know people for a long time and in the end it did not end up well for a number of people that I witnessed myself I also know people who who have doing as a work they're doing 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 things at some point not too late they realize either they have to change or they have to change the job and some some sometime people manage to change themselves and be free from what they're doing but sometimes they're not able to change themselves then they have to change job but not too late they are able to change their job and they also feel happier much more happier in their life because the fear of losing something fear of not surviving or not making living enough or something they try to be able to break through break through that and trying to you know trusting to learn new skills and so so some bottom line is continuation of pain activity this is what i'm talking will not end up right and if you are suffering uh with your activity with your what you do or particularly what you do as a profession if you are suffering for a long time and you have no other ways to relating to it no other way of looking at it then it's a time to reflect seriously reflect and say trying to change something and uh, and change could mean according to this teaching the very in a dogchen teaching collective sense there is the word called ngalso in tibetan ngalso which basically means rest resting 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 from so you need to take a break from that activity that what you do a professional pain activity a professional pain body's activity so that doing need to to stop maybe you will not stop fully but you need to do take a break maybe you need to do stop maybe you need to take a break you need to to rest you need to to re recover you need to to reconnect these are a uh, some sense of activity that you need to do uh, in order to you know understand the value of the teaching about the first part of the teaching so activity is talking about so so some sense of i think what i'm saying is the value of um self reflecting and value of taking a break from pain body pain particularly pain activities from that pain body and particularly if it has been so long time particularly if it has not changing particularly if you keep continuously suffering because you are manipulating your body you are manipulating your sense of who you are you are you are manipulating that inner peace and restfulness inner stillness that's what you're doing so bottom line what is saying rest take a break if it's not working take a break simple as that so but if you have witness it's not working for that so many years and if you continue doing that you know nothing's going to change but it will destroy you before it's too late consider that right so that's I think uh one thing is important second part is we jump to the speech part so we said jume ishi je basically means silence is the base jume ishi je silence is the base so and all the speeches jupa na so tsal all the speeches are dynamic energy so basically 
once again, you know, um, all your speech, for example, you think about your speech. Um, what you talk, how you talk, how you, um, what somebody says, so your activity speech, your pain speech. So pain speech need to do, need to, to rest. So let's say, let's say you are trying to, uh, you're trying to clear um, something with somebody. You're, you're discussing about something. You're trying to clarify something with somebody. You're trying to be clear with somebody. And you're trying to uh, talk. You're trying to talk more. You have been talking for a long time with your um, partner, husband, wife, brother, sister, colleague, boss. But you have been talking so long time. But, but it's not arriving any conclusion, not I mean, any clarity, not coming, arriving place of peace, or not coming to the place of connection, or place of love, collaboration, and creativity. It's not coming anywhere. What is happening is just draining, keep, keep draining. Keep draining you, keep draining somebody, uh, keep draining a uh, collective groups of people. Because of your speech, a collective speech, somebody else's speech, because they all are not arising from, you know, from clear place. They are coming from a pain speech. So basically what he's saying here is take a rest, take a break. It's not saying but don't take me wrong here. It's not saying just keep quiet and not, never talk again. No. I, no. It's saying the way you have been doing manipulation, disconnection from the silence, lack of awareness of the silence, because the base of the speech is the silence. If something is not coming from silence, if something coming from pain speech and the noises, is not going to bring you in a good place. And if it's not bringing you in a good place for all these years, and if you haven't changed the way you do it, it's not going to bring you in a good place in the near future too. So, so you're tired, you're exhausted, you're confused, you're lost, you don't know what you're talking. So in those cases, it's saying, take a break. Don't talk as much. Silence. You might say, well, if 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 talking did not help, how does how does the silence going to help? Well, you might be very surprised. But silence has to be deep. Silence has to be in the beginning, you at least not speaking with those words, those topic in those way, those particular way from that pain speech and gradually discovering more inner silence, what we call inner silence, whether you feel in more internally, where you feel more sense of peace. And the, the day will come when you really know Maybe you don't have to say anything. Everything is just clear it is. There was never a need to clarify somebody. There was a never a need to talk. Because everything was clear as it is in that silence. From that silence. Or you might not get feel deep enough, but you still feel that you do need to talk. And then you also will be very clear, you will know what to talk. And these speeches will come more from that place of silence. Less of all this collective 
family pain stories, a, a professional collective uh, pain dynamic relationship or pain. Not from that, it's coming from more from clear space. Maybe if you look, some of, some of the relationships are beautiful relationships that has been damaged, been destroyed, lost, wounded, might have caused with some of the speeches, pain speeches. One single moment of those pain speeches destroy destroy something, what deep relationship that you have with somebody. Imagine that particular moment if you don't, did not say what was coming out because you were aware of that moment to be more silence and connecting with silence and not allow that speech come out from that place of pain. Your good relationship with those people might be still there. Your opportunity to connect, do work, collaborate people might still be there. And you know very clearly, we all know very clearly that some of those moments, you know clearly some of those particular moments, pain speech has destroys, destroy something beautiful what you have. Because there were, it's, it's the effort, it's the pain, it's the struggle, it's a trying, it's a totally lack of restfulness. That's why it's happening. And the third part, it has something to do with the uh, uh, mind. Remember, we talked about mind. Tongme ishije, tongme ishije, so top topa meba, so thoughtless wisdom is the base. It says thoughtless wisdom is the base, and uh, I'm, that's kind of literally what it means. Thoughtless wisdom is the base, and most of the commonly when I talk about it, I I try to say spaciousness. So space, my my expression of spaciousness or the sacred space is what I'm referring to this thoughtless wisdom. So thoughtless wisdom, that spaciousness of our mind, so all the um, Thoughts, memories, emotions, recollections, sensory experiences. So whatever the mental experiences that you are having in that spaciousness, in that, in that thoughtless wisdom, those appearances are, here it's referring them as a dynamic energy. Dynamic energy means no matter what is arising there, they're all good, whatever, the, whatever is arising. So you don't look them as an error or mistake, mistaken, or you don't try to manipulate or suppress and change, manipulate. Rather, you observe and aware of those appearances of your thought. And that is, is saying is the method. And if you do that, it will dissolve what needs to dissolve go down, it will come up what you need it to come up. So it's like a, a water, a spring water. Uh, if you shake it with a, maybe with a stick, uh, stirring up, up, and when, then it be, water becomes very muddy. And uh, if you keep on shaking it, moving it, water becomes keep on staying muddy. And maybe that's what life is. You, you don't have a moment of stillness. You don't have a moment of silence. You don't have a moment of spaciousness of your mind. 
you don't have a connection to your body, your speech, your mind, to the nature, to your surrounding, you have lost the connection and you keep stirring with your body, with your pain body, your speech with the pain speech, with your mind with the pain mind and life is very muddy. So same way, the, mud, the muddy water, if you leave it for a moment, for a couple of hours, what happens? All the heavy things like rocks, stones will go down and all the light things like leaves, papers or something like that will come up. So the light ones come up, heavy ones will go down, but the water itself becomes crystal clear. That is like our mind. So when you leave it as it is, when you rest, when you take a break from pain, body, speech and mind, when you rest, rest deep enough, then it naturally becomes clear by itself, like the water, if you don't shake it. So some sense, what I'm trying to say here is the value of not doing anything and sometimes many things can happen. Not saying anything, sometimes many communication can happen. And not imagining thinking all the time, sometimes many spontaneous discovery of creativity or creativity will arise. When body gets rest, when the speech gets rest, when the mind gets rest, the magic happens. So trusting the stillness, silence, spaciousness, because they are so-called basis, foundation, je. So this is what uh, I think for, for today. So I think um, maybe for 10 minutes, we can all kind of meditate a little bit on in this base. So I want everybody to sit comfortably. Take uh, three or five deep breathing. And as you exhale from your nostril, breathe out all the discomforts that you have been feeling these weeks, days, hours, and in this moment. As we are trying to be, breathe out, rest, I think uh, the internet also trying to rest, the phone trying to rest too. Continue breathing deep and feel the space around and within. where all the appearances in the universe, universe is arising, staying, dissolving. In which you all are there, I am there, we're all in that space. Be aware of the stillness in your body. Charme ishe je, the actionless body, wisdom, being aware of the stillness.
Je me échege. Be aware of the silence. Connect with the awareness of the silence. Silence connects all of us more than our speeches. Or silence, speech from that silence help us connect with each other. The noises, language of noises, restless, disconnected speeches does not help us to connect. So be aware of that silence. Feel the connection. Be aware of the thoughtless wisdom or the spacious spaciousness of your mind. Your mind is like a crystal clear sky. Be aware of that. That awareness is the base. More you are connected to that, that base, that awareness, less your thoughts will bother you. Continue. In this stillness, in this silence, in this spaciousness, through our body, through our speech, through our mind, feel we are all connected to each other. and feel that we are, you are all supported, we are all supported by each other. Feel this connection of sacred cyber Sangha. No matter how far we are from each other, no matter what time zone you are in, this moment we are all connected and this connection is support for all of us, particularly those you need the support this moment. You are fully supported. Thank you. Now you can open your eye.
How is the meditation? Well, wonderful. I hope this uh, short meditation was helpful. I hope this uh, um, reflections from 21 Nail was a little bit helpful. Uh, hopefully it's not uh, became too complicated discussion. But uh, you, many of you who have been following me with about three door and uh, Three precious pills, practices, all of you already know. So all of you, all of you have been doing. You have already know about it. You have been practicing, and uh, so this is the only a uh, little bit more um, from the text. I'm trying to kind of closely trying to relate it with the text. So, so it's um, most of you are already are aware and practicing. So I just trying to continuously support that from India, Dharamsala. So, um, so I hope to do one uh, more uh, before I return back to Virginia. Um, so in the next couple of days, I hope to do one more uh, Facebook Live. So I will announce that on my Facebook page. So please uh, just every now and then check, check the the information there so if there anything will uh but definitely we will do one and uh, just the time and the date day you will check there and once you know something please let let other friends and pe friends know so that you know we can always kind of support each other that way thank you very much all my love blessings to all of you